everybody, here we are again, holding the spitter. Cheers. Trying to do a really quick update this one. Um, the competition has been running for two weeks, so that's it. Competition is now closed. That's for the competition for who gets the Flash Gordon. I think there's only one comment that's actually eligible, so well, we might be disappointed, we'll see. But something else. I'm going to finally, I was going to do this last night, but I got sidetracked. I'm going to review Cheshire Home Brews Belgian Blonde Ale. It's at 7.3%. So, nice hiss. Not much in, oh there is a bit of smoke, but you can't make it puff because it's an aluminium body. Aluminium body, aluminium bottled. An aluminium bottle. Right, so we'll Yeah, that's got light hop aromas. Blondale, right, so we'll pour. It's obviously going to be nowhere near a pint. I'm going to try and. That's a quick guess, but I'm going to stop there. So I don't want to drag. It's bottle conditioned. Don't want to drag any sediment up. So look at that. That is absolutely crystal clear. Plenty of carbonation in it. I don't know if you can see that. Just get the torch and nearly chuck the beer all over. So there you can see streaming up from the bottom. It's bottled so it's not going to have much of a head. You can possibly whip a head up just about. Third of a finger. I stopped messing about. That slightly citrusy notes there. I think. Fruity, definitely fruity. Right. Beers for drinking, not for sniffing. Let's go for it. Again, a hint of licorice, I think. Or is so slight. Quite thick on the mouthfeel. There's a, yeah, a definite licorice flavour to that. Nothing, I don't know if I've seen, I don't know if there is a video, if there is a video I'll try and post a card up there, there, somewhere. Anyway, I'm trying to keep it short, aren't I? Stop wittering. Nice. Not really. Lots of bittering. Don't know if there's, a, there's, a, there's this. It's just a licorice flavour. Subtle licorice flavour that just lasts throughout. Normally, where back end you'd get some bittering coming in. It's still. The licorice is now just dying off. Very nice beer. I shall stop swigging it because it's 
7.3%. So that's like drinking a whole pint of it. So I'll need to last I'll need to make that last about 20 minutes at least, don't I? 7.3%. But yeah. It's been in the fridge. Took it out of the fridge about half an hour ago. So it's it's cool. But there is and it's a it's a fresh clean glass so you're going to get less lacing sticking around and as well with a higher percentage of the alcohol that puts your head down. Very nice that. Very nice. As I say, I wasn't expecting the licorice flavour, but there are some citrusy notes going on. I'll have to see what uh, what recipe it was. Right. Like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time. Cheers. Bye. Back again. Should have mentioned. I'll just I'll just show you this actually. I've tipped the rest of the bottle in. So there is some sediment was some sediment in the bottle. It's a little bit hazy now, but still good. That's not why we're back. I should have mentioned that the video the video the competition is closed for the Flask Gordon. But Given the current state, I've decided, I've, I've already put the triple XB, Baton's triple XB, in the barrel. That's what was going to go in the flask. But given the current state of affairs, I don't think sending beer off is an essential thing to do. So what I'll do is hold off, I'll run the competition as it was, and the winner of the competition is still going to get the flask, but it's going to be delayed until things get better. Yeah, so I could, I could have put it in the flask, but then if suddenly the post office, post office closes, and we go into complete shut lockdown, whatever. Then it, the beer is not going to be fresh. It's going to be however many weeks in, in until I can post it off. So the upside is that I've got a sack full of grain and hops and some special speciality grains like crystal and chocolate and so I'll be doing quite a lot of all grain mashes in the near future especially since I'll currently I'm off work can't go into work due to the government guidelines and I don't think my job is going to be classed as an essential worker is that the term? Essential worker? Not quite, is it? Something like that. Basically, I'm not going into work. And, unfortunately, I can't work from home. So, I've got to fill my days somehow. Plan this. Well, I didn't, I didn't plan it. I didn't, I'm not the cause of the virus. I didn't plan it that much. But, I suddenly realised that I was likely to get some time off, be it paid or unpaid, don't know, probably going to be paid, um, so I bought a sack of malting, I'm looking over there, Mavisotti, from Castleford, right, I'm going to stop wittering now, oh, oh, the beer talking, beer talking again, very nice, that was said it's very nice, as it's warming up, the licorice seems to be dying off a bit. Still very.
very nice though. There is still that, it's not as pronounced, but there's still that hint of licorice. But it's being matched over by... There's some citrusy notes coming in, I think. Slight like citrusy notes. Yeah, right, anyway. That's it now, definitely. Like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time. Cheers, bye.